Today in Paradise in beautiful Las Vegas. And I have Jimmy Dagg with me here today. Thank you, Jimmy. And Jimmy, um, I think you have some things to tell everybody. Exciting things. Well, I, you know, I'm a subscriber to the master series of video training and you pay for one subscription and you can get access to all the stuff, how to sing opera and how to negotiate better and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you want to learn how to sing opera, you can, there's a master class from some opera singer, right? Um, Chris Voss is one of the best negotiator trainers on, on the planet, I think. And he's got a series of videos that we're going to play here in the office starting Tuesday, a week from yesterday, I guess. Today, Wednesday, yeah, a week from yesterday, the 10th at two o'clock. We're going to get together and um, we're going to work through some of his um, dialogues and, and we're going to do some skill building. I don't call it role playing because we're really trying to build our skills because I, I don't think there's any argument that you need to be more skilled. Now, there's less transactions by about 10 percent, according to your statistics. There's more realtors, so there's more realtors chasing a fewer deals. Your skills have got to be amped up, and that's what we're going to do. It's a four-session thing. It's free, but you have to come here for it. If we're not going to do it on video. You got to. It'll be at two o'clock on Tuesday. Will be the first session. We'll do two a week. So in two weeks, you'll be done with it. But I have gone through his training before on video, and it's excellent. And it's interesting. Uh, one of our agents, um, Nancy, uh, had some folks that really wanted this $435,000 house over the weekend. So I told her, I said, well, it's all going to be negotiations now because there was three or four other offers mm -hmm. and she had a clean offer. Everything was good. And I said, you might end up having to pay a little more because they did offer list come down to it. And they did. And she did end up getting it negotiating against, you know, the other offers and they did have to pay a $7,500 more for the home, but they thought it was a value. They wanted it and she won the deal and it was all because she knew how to negotiate. So it is so important, even in this market uh, and maybe even more in this market, Jimmy, what do you think? I mean, your negotiating skills have got to be fine tuned. Well, <clears throat> you threw out a statistic the other day that there's about 400 properties in the in the sweet spot of the market under 400,000. I think that's the number you threw out, like 400 properties in that under 400,000. So there's a lot of properties out there, but there's a lot of buyers that are competing for those properties. So you're gonna be up against multiple offers and it's it's your presentation skills, your negotiating skills, the other agent skills, all, all those things play into it. You know, and one of the things that I don't have a stat for, and maybe you know it, but if you look at last year and we, I mean, we were selling three, thousand homes a month or more and that doesn't include the new homes so in your um, experience do you think that there are more cash buyers out there than we have a stat for i guess that's my question i i do think there are cash buyers out there that are not getting the properties that they want they're not getting enough properties so they're going to push the prices up a little bit because i i had a couple calls on a property that i had to win an escrow I actually had three phone calls on this. It was on the country club and it sold for um, full price cash. There were multiple offers on it. After it sold, I had three more calls that said, hey, if it falls out, let me know because I'll make a full price offer. Three other people called me, three, said they have cash. They just didn't get there quick enough. I think there's a lot more cash out there than um, even though you know the interest rates are higher, I think with people have cash and so they think, well, I'll pay cash and maybe refinance it later. You know, the, I think that there that's going on. Well, and the cash buyers obviously believe prices are going to go up or they wouldn't be paying cash lease and they're paying full price. None of, I had one offer that was below full price, but I had four offers. Do you have more full price? So I think that there's a message there. It, um, it was 425 too, just so you know, that sweet spot in the market between 350 and 450, that's the, that's the, where buyers compete. Yes. Yeah. And so, and they, and again, they have cash. So Jimmy, um, I just want to spend a few minutes today talking about some of the free tools that people can use for their social media and for their listings and for their flyers. So I'd like to start out with Canva is the first tool. And Canva is a renowned, renowned graphic design platform. And it's very easy to use. There's a lot to learn, but it's still easy to use. And it offers free and premium versions. The capabilities provided in the free version are substantial. So it doesn't cost you anything just to take a peek and to see what it's like. And then, you know, if you try to do something and, and it's uh, going to cost you a few bucks, and I think it's under $100 a year. 
I don't think it's even expensive to enjoy the, the pro version of it. But it's an endless reservoir for uh, sparking your creativity and it has templates for flyers and it's and it's got a lot of things for real estate. And if you're interested, um, I think there's some, uh, I know that there's some Canva videos out there on YouTube, how to use it. And then Canva also has AI features, which can be linked. Um, and for individuals that are in our profession and they want quick and quality graphics for social media or print marketing, Canva is invaluable. And uh, the free is always enticing. So that's my first suggestion to get Canva. The second one, my love is ChatGPT. And it's a tool that has just grabbed everybody's attention. And it's been a recurring topic on YouTube as well. And we've talked about it quite a bit on, on our shows. And it has detailed um, on YouTube, there's detailed videos, which you can learn even more about it. But it, it is very easy. Like I went in there today, I was trying to do something. And I said, how many words can I put in, uh, for you to write a uh, some bullet points for me? And it came back and it told me and it said, well, because if it's too lengthy, we won't tell you. We will just cut it off. Mm. So that was good to know. I mean, you can just ask it anything. It's 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 amazing to me. <laughs> so, you know, regardless of whether you want to do a tip Tuesday or a Monday market update or even put listings out there, chat can produce the content that you need. And yes, I think it was yesterday. Uh, Carolina needed um, needed her description spiked up a little bit. And so we let ChatGPT do it and we did it like two or three times. It took about 15, 20 minutes till we got it the way we wanted it. And now it's it's a fantastic description. And we made it exciting. We said, make this description exciting. And it did. And it and it was um it's and I said with a marketing flair. So you have to learn how to talk to it. And the only way you're going to learn is to use it. And I think it's just a must have for all real estate agents. And then number three is Google Suite. Now, I am not a Google Suite person, but I know that there's a lot of um, tools within Google. Google Sheets is particularly a noteworthy tool, and it can assist you in creating your content. Um, and that's what I think it's really great for is to keeping track of what you're of what you're doing. Like if you're if you're doing videos, what you're going to do on your marketing Monday or what you're going to do on your Tuesday tip. And you can do all these different sheets and keep track of what you're doing so you don't you know, make mistakes or uh, duplicate yourself. Well, and I Google Sheets was an, like an Excel program. You're telling me it's more like a scheduling program or a, well, a it's format. an organizing. It organizes. Okay. Yeah. And then, and so you can have different sheets for different things. And it is like, it is it's very similar to Excel, but it's still an organizing tool because you know, of just the way it works. Okay. And I, again, and I'm, and I don't use it. I have, when I go to my mastermind with Katie Lance, she always um, gives us Google sheets to create our 52 weeks of content, if you will. And so, you know, she's already described week one, week two, she's already done all that. And then we just have to fill in column three, whatever it is. So it is very much like Excel, but it, again, you can use uh, Google sheets as organizing, which is really good because you can just have all these different sheets with, with their detail names at the bottom, just like Excel and say, okay, here's my, here's my Mondays, here's my year, here's my whatever. And it just keeps you organized in one place. So anyway, I think that um, that and Google Docs and Google Drive, they, they are very helpful also in facilitating you to use the content for creation and storage. Again, um, we should all keep our stuff somewhere because these social media platforms are just rented ground, if you will. I mean, they could take something away in a minute and then all your content is gone. And <laughs> um, I'm not uh, I'm not good at doing that, although I try to. I try to keep all my marketing sheets, you know, uh, in one place, not just on uh, Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram. So, you know, if you're creating content on the social media platforms, you need to copy and put it somewhere. And Google Drive and Google uh, sheets and Google Docs make it easy to do that. So, you know, um, without getting into a lot of detail about exactly how to do it, 
uh, hopefully you can go in and explore it and figure out how to do it. But it's well, indispensable. I something on Canva and then I save it to Google Drive. Yes. In the case it ever disappears. I've already yes. got it created. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Now, of course, the next thing is, <laughs> what if Google disappears? <laughs> you know, so I don't know if there's, um, but you can always back up, you know, it's like uh, Kane and I are c continually backing up our computers. And I have this, um, this drive here. And it's a, um, it's a Seagate. And Seagate, I bought the Seagate portable drive. And I don't know how many terabytes are on this thing, but it is fast. I can back up my whole computer in an hour or two. And I've got a lot of videos, so mm -hmm. I don't want to lose any of that. So that's that's just uh, now this isn't free. I think it costs a couple hundred dollars. But <laughs> I mean, I need some assurance that if I lose my computer crashes or something drastic happens, I have everything I've created. So, again, rented ground. You have to realize that all these Internet platforms are all rented ground. So then let's move on now to photos. I use a Getty Images and I use iStock, but it's not cheap. So there's two really good free uh, photo, uh, stock photo sites. One is Unsplash, U-N-S-P-L-A-S-H, and Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y. So when it comes to high quality stock photos without the health, the hefty price tag like uh, iStock and Getty Images, Unsplash uh, and Pixaplay are top choices. They have, um, there's, I think Katie's used them for years. Katie, Katie is amazing. She is all about being free. So if you want, if you want to, to uh, use their stock photos, photos and even their video footage is good. And these two platforms ensure that there's no compromise of quality and both sites have premium options of course but the free versions are more than satisfactory for what we use them for and you can make some beautiful you can make some beautiful flyers using the uh those stock photos along with canva um and what else did i want to say about that uh i won't go into let's just talk number five the social media platforms they're all free so there's no reason why you're not on instagram facebook and TikTok and linkedin they're free and youtube remains free for invaluable brand visibility i, I can't preach enough about how valuable youtube is it's a search engine and it's like i was telling uh, our agent crystal the other day and jimmy i think you were in the meeting there i was telling her that if she learns uh uh, TubeBuddy and or vidIQ, which are um, apps that help you learn how to uh, use YouTube effectively. In other words, with the keywords, with the descriptions and all the different uh, little nuances that help you get found when somebody searches for something that you're talking about. Anyway, um, I can't say enough good things about YouTube. And so those things are free. And the other thing I'm, I didn't mention, um, in my little write-up that I was doing, is email. Do not think that email is not effective. It is. It's very effective. You just have to be consistent and you have to be interesting. Just like we we uh, blasted out the <clears throat> Las Vegas Las Vegas Market Watch on the Sphere. We did a we did a uh, blog about the Sphere, and people love the Sphere. And so that's an interesting topic. So people are going to open up their email when they see that that email is about the sphere. So when you do do your emails, it has to be interesting and informative and consistent. And so those are all free things. And so, Jimmy, we went to this I'm going to the third segment of our show today. So we went to the Success Summit and one of the gals that we saw is doing something very creative and it's seller seminars. And I know that one of our agents is uh, thinking of doing those and trying to get it organized for, for her farm. And Jimmy, what are your comments before we start the video? Well, first, everything that she tells you on here is available through the Tom Ferry Network, and it's all free. This is one of the um, things that he put up after the summit, he put up her stuff, her video and stuff like that. So what you're gonna show them, if they can't find it on your show, they can go to Tom, but they'd have to search through a lot of stuff. But she's targeted and she's being, I mean, he puts people on the stage that are successful doing what they're doing right now in this market. And she's in this market doing this and it's working for her. 
Yeah. And uh, so she's going to give us the whole plan on how you do it. So let's hope this plays. I may have to adjust the video, but let's, I'm going to mute you and mute me so that there's no background feed. Wow, what an honor to be here. My name is Maureen Folan. I am the queen of queens. I run a small team. I'm a broker owner. And this year, we're on track to sell over $250 million in real estate. Some of you may remember me from 2019 Summit when I won Tom's Best Branding Video Contest. Well, in case you're wondering, I still can't play tennis. I still can't bake to save my life, just ask my kids. I still don't know the difference between a C and a D chord. And I still don't know how to make fancy swans out of napkins. However, in that time, I've become really good at hosting seller seminars. Since I started doing them in January of this year, over the last eight months, I've taken 15 new listings and closed over $18 million in sales, just from this one lead source. And not to mention the 250 sellers that I now have in my pipeline. So today, I wanna share with you the why, the what, and the how to host the best seller seminars that your marketplace has ever seen. Picture it. It's the first quarter of 2022, and like many of you, my business is booming. The come listening calls are rolling in, multiple offer situations, listings, pending contracts, closings are abundant. I mean, life is good. Just ask my buddy, Luce Abreu, who went to Europe three times that year and bought more designer handbags than I have fingers to count on. It's true. And then it happened. The fourth quarter rolled around, interest rates peaked to 7%, and my business came to a screeching halt. I mean, the phones just stopped ringing. But yet my expenses kept going. I was still geofarming to the same neighborhoods. Payroll was due every two weeks. I was still paying for internet leads. I was still paying for an office in one of the most expensive rental markets in the country. I started to get scared. I started to get really nervous. After a few weeks of ugly crying to my wonderful coach, Marie Gomer, P.S. thank you for all those tissues, hugs, and accountability, I decided it was time for me to stand up and do something about it. I decided that I was gonna do seller seminars. Now, I didn't come up with the idea of seller seminars. It was my good friend, Jay D'Alessandro from Northern Virginia. He had been hosting these seller seminars long before me. And in fact, I thought he should be the one presenting on stage today. However, I think Tom's team thought that I had nicer legs, so they asked me instead. Today, I wanna to give a thank you to my buddy Jay for helping me get started with the process. I've been coaching with Tom Ferry since 2015, and in that time, I've had the good fortune to mastermind and network with some of the brightest minds in real estate. Imagine having friends in different markets around the country that you can call up and say, hey, I'm struggling with my business, what would you do? Or hey, I, I wanna start this, can you send me your blueprint? These people are only happy to, to share with you and, 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 and wish you the best of success. And today, I'm here to pay it forward to all of you. Know your why. For me, with all the uncertainty in the marketplace, I wanted to educate the people in my community. I wanted to share with them the real data of what was happening in the Queens real estate market. There was a lot of toxic, misleading information that was stopping people from moving forward with their lives and making good decisions. So I felt as the number one agent in my marketplace, it was my duty 
to really share the real data of what was happening so people could feel empowered to make the right decisions for them and their family. Plus, I wanted to get more listings. But what I got out as a result of all of this is I got to meet some wonderful people in the process and help them sell their homes. At the end of the day, we are in the service industry, and there's nothing greater than helping your clients reach their goals. Hi, my name is Nancy Harris. My name is Bob Hickey. I'm Dorothy Hickey. Jean and Jim Woisen. My experience in working with Maureen began when I received a postcard from her office advertising a home seller's seminar. I was at a point in my life that I was ready to sell my house and I didn't really know how to start. We didn't, we didn't think we were going to be selling the house this year. We went to the seminar and we were very impressed with the seminar and we asked uh, Maureen to come over to our house and we started talking and we looked at each other and we said, why not? This is the time, I guess, to sell the house. We're not getting any younger. We're not getting any younger, <laughs> and uh, everything moved so quickly. We really weren't thinking of selling right now. We were thinking a year or two, but we said, well, we'll go and we'll find out, because this way, if we have something to do to the house to get ready, we could do it. And as it turned out, they said, no, you don't have to do anything. So the, we didn't think the market was that good right now, either for selling, but that proved wrong too. And Maureen said, put it out there and, and we'll see what happens. So we said, okay. And it sold yeah. <laughs> right away. It literally got my little feet moving on what to do next. I've been living in this house since 1999 and I made my life here with my husband. So I had a very emotional connection to the house to have a group of people who understood and could give me confidence in this meant everything to me. Seller seminars are really a very good resource, practical information on how to sell the house. Spectacular. Very informative. So friendly, every step of the way, very non-threatening. Enlightening, practical. And to alleviate your fear. So guys, this is proof that it actually works. So as we know in real estate, every market is different. I'm in Queens, New York. My client avatar are working professionals and older people looking to downsize and move to a warmer climate. So I hold my seminar, seller seminars in my office on Saturday mornings. I have a good friend who works in California. She's in a higher end market and her average price point is two and a half million. So she hosts her seller seminars in a posh restaurant and offers wine and cheese. So it's important to know your market and know who you're targeting. So you're probably wondering, how do you get people to attend? Feed them. Everybody loves food. So like I said, I host my seller seminars in my office on a Saturday morning between 10 and 12. So when people arrive, there's coffee and donuts. And then about 15 minutes before they leave, I have lunch delivered from a local Italian deli. So they stick around, they engage, they have conversations, they ask questions, and it's a good opportunity for me to find out why they are at the seller seminar, what their plans are. So the next few slides, I want you all to take your phone out and I want you to take a picture of my marketing step by step. This is the blueprint to get your marketing going for seller seminars. I'm not gonna go through every single one of them because of time constraints, but I want you to have it. The next slide here, I also want you to take a picture. This is our marketing material. Don't worry, Tom will, Tom will give you the slides. The next picture here is the marketing materials, so please take a picture here. And I'm gonna go through all of my marketing samples so you can feel free to rip off and duplicate and make them your own. So this here is a video that gets posted on my website. Hi guys, it's real estate broker Maureen Folan with the Maureen Folan Real Estate Group. I am so excited to invite you to my home seller seminar. We're hosting these seller seminars in my office on Saturday. And there's a lot of uncertainty in the market, right? There's a lot of not people not sure which way to go. So my job is to put your fears at ease. We're gonna discuss all things related to the home selling process from A to Z. We're gonna talk about New York City closing costs, capital gains tax, preparing your home for sale to maximize its value. We're gonna talk about really what's happening in the local Queens real estate market. So feel free to pass this along to any friends or neighbors or relatives that are looking to make a move in 2023. You absolutely don't wanna sell your house until you attend my seminar. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. So, clap it up. It's all good, I'll take it. <laughs> 
So when you go to my website, you see the upcoming dates of my seller seminar, the location and the time, and easy registration. This is a sample of my postcard that gets sent out to my geo farm about two weeks before my seller seminar. Again, it has the different dates, the different times that we're hosting, all the different topics we're going to be talking about the seller seminar, as well as a QR code for easy registration. This is an email blast that gets sent out to my whole database, past clients, engineers, lawyers, friends, everybody who's in my database gets this email letting them know of my seller seminar. And it's important for this because your friends, though they may not be ready to sell, they will forward this on to friends that they've had conversations with. I've had new clients come to my office because they've gotten this forwarded from a friend. Here is a sample of a reel of how we market on social media. And I'm going to play the video for you, but I just want to point out that by posting reels like this, it really does distinguish you from the next agent. It makes you look like a professional, that you're working strong in your business, and it really does help you with your branding. I'm not going to play that one, but you'll, um, you can find that on my social media. So this here is a, a flyer that we print out. My office location is on a very, very busy location, and there's a lot of foot traffic. So we post these in our window. And we also post these in all the local stores around my office, like the Delicatessen, the Dry Cleaner. Um, and we get a great response from this, too. So you're wondering how to capture the leads. We have QR codes on everything. So what happens is people scan. It brings them to an Eventbrite page where they're going to put in their name, their telephone number, their email address, and their property address. My assistant then takes all those leads and puts them into my CRM. It doesn't matter what CRM you use as long as you have one place to put all of your leads. So now that you've done the whole back end of getting your seller seminar ready, you're probably wondering what to talk about. Don't worry, I got you covered. These are just some topics. Feel free to take a picture. Um, what I started doing in my seller seminars, I host Q&A at the end of every seminar. And, I ask, and people pretty much tell me what they want to talk about, what they want to learn about. So I then incorporate those topics into my next seller seminar. So just imagine, you've done your first seller seminar. You've had a great response. People came. They engaged, they had lunch. Now what? What do you do from here? Well, firstly, congratulations. What I'm about to share with you next is the most important part of my presentation. So I want you all to listen up. Are you ready? Are you sure? OK. The appointment is in the follow-up. We have heard Tom Ferry say this time and time again. All of the money is in the follow-up. The whole point of doing these seller seminars is to get that listing appointment face-to-face, -face, okay? So I have a three-step plan for everybody here, what I want you to do. On day one, the day you host the seller seminar, you're going to send a video email that day. Not a week later, not two weeks later, literally that afternoon. And it's going to go something like this. Hi, Mr. Smith, my name is, hi, Mr. Smith, it's Maureen Folan. Just wanted to thank you so much for attending my seller seminar. If you have any questions on the real estate market, please give me a call at blah, 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 blah. And you're going to hit send. I've had people respond immediately and say, Maureen, it was great to meet with you. When are you available to come over to my house? That's what I'm looking for. Day, next day, step number two, you're going to call them. You're going to, the conversation's going to go something like this. Hi, Mr. Smith, Maureen Fullen here. Thank you so much for attending my seller seminar. It was really nice to meet you and Mrs. Smith. I just wanted to see if you had any additional questions on real estate. And the whole point of this call is really just to kind of have a nice conversation, get some feedback, what they thought about the seminar, which is good for you so you know what's working, what people liked. And also, it's a good opportunity to ask for the appointment, right? You want to say, hey, when is a good time I can come over and take a look at the house and give you some pointers in getting it ready? So those steps are really important. Now, because you've all been a phenomenal audience, I have a special gift for you. 
I want you to scan this QR code and I'm going to share some extra marketing materials with you and some extra reels so you can see yourself. And again, please feel free to rip off and duplicate everything. So I'll give you a second to do that. Okay, well, we'll get you the slides. Tom will get you the slides anyhow. So, okay, so in closing, I've talked a lot about stepping outside your comfort zone. Now I know it's really hard. I mean, just this past weekend myself, I hosted my first shredding event in my community. I had 100 people register, but about 20 people showed up. I had five donuts for every person and more coffee left over to keep me caffeinated for two weeks. However, I don't see that as a bust. I see that as starting the process. I now have strategies to implement in my next seller, uh, sorry, my next shredding event that it's gonna make it better. So you just have to understand, it may not go exactly the way you want it to, but you can't give up. We're in a real estate market that's very challenging, one of the most challenging years I've seen in real estate in my 25 year career, and it's important that you Try these things in your business to see what's working. I wish for you all to roll up your sleeves, step out of your comfort zone, and do the work to become the boss men and women in your marketplace. Thank you very much. Way to go, Maureen. Good job. What do you think? Totally, totally quiet. Start to be honey. Hey, <laughs> say that again. It's the same. Seven or two. <laughs> oh dear. Totally, so, totally. She's got the whole package: marketing, videos, everything. Totally, everything there. I mean, that's exciting. I want to go back into real estate. Yeah. It, it's 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 a, it's. A, I mean, it's a perfect a successful way to get sellers and they come to you you do the marketing but then they show up at your office very very powerful and you know um in this town people are older and you saw a lot of her uh video testimonials were older people and mm -hmm. for different reasons like the woman was emotionally attached to the house but her her spouse had passed away so she wanted to move on and then you have um older people that are moving back to chicago to be with their kids you know um and and then you have i think the average right now for a person in their home is 13 years so um and even up to 20 years, I think she said in the video. But the point is that people are thinking of moving. And why aren't you, you know, in front of them like she is? I mean, I, I just uh, I just think it's such a no brainer for to do. And you uh, and like she said, everything's in the follow up. I love the fact that she sends a video email uh, to people. And I would even go one step further because I think when she uh, captures information in Eventbrite, she captures their phone number. So you can do a video text to them uh, as well as an email. And then, um, and then you follow up the next day with a phone call. And I'm sure then the next day is another email. She didn't go to that third one and I uh, didn't take a screenshot of it, but I can, we can always go back. You can always rewind this video and go back and listen to it and take screenshots. And, and it's, it's just one, two, three, easy peasy. Just do it. Yeah, she laid it all out, all the steps. And I'm, I'm anxious to see how Sandy does. Sandy's going to do it. And um, if you have a farm, I mean, it's a perfect thing to do. And even uh, some people say, well, you know, there's like uh, the farm's too big. Well, take a few streets of the farm. You don't need to take the whole farm. But you can, you know, zero in on a particular area, zip code, a uh, couple streets in that zip code or a few streets and uh, get 100 or 200 people to where it's affordable to do your mailers and your flyers and your marketing um, when it comes to uh, you have to pay for things. Uh, but you don't have to pay for YouTube. You don't have to pay for the reels. You don't have to pay for Instagram reels and you don't have to pay for Facebook reels and you can get the word out and you can target the audiences. That's the other beautiful thing. I think Sandy is going to ask a couple people to join in with her. So she has enough people there to make it look like a successful event. Yeah. 
<laughs> so she's working on it, I know. Yeah. Well, it's exciting to me, and I'm, uh, and, I, and in the changing world that we're in, and like when she put up that first slide, oh, shift. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, that's what about, that's what that's what we're going through, a shift. And so anyway, that's uh, that's all I've got for today, Jimmy. That's enough for one day. <laughs> I can't I just can't applaud Tom Ferry enough for all that he does for everyone. It's just amazing. I, uh, you know, I was talking with um, Helen uh, Presser yesterday. We were and she's an avid follower of Tom Ferry, listens to his videos. And um, she, I don't think she didn't go, but I don't know if she got the uh, digital version of the summit. But it's just amazing what he's put together. And we, we should be so grateful. And we've got like the roadmap for success. If we just if we just follow Brian Buffini or Tom Ferry, pick one. Or do both. Oh, yeah, like we do, we do both. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I'm using Buffini CRM and I'm using some of Tom Ferry stuff, but um, I'm using both. You know, I like vegetables and, and fruits. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, well, um, that's all I have for today. And okay. Jimmy, will you be back on Friday? Um, I don't know, but I know I'm, I'm here today. You're here today. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Uh, one or both of us will see you on Friday. And I think we're going to talk about getting started with Instagram. Cool. So, all right. Okay, Thanks. everybody. Bye. Here with you. I'll be in the office shortly. <laughs> Okie dokie.